Hey everybody, BTO Pro here, back from University API. And uh, when you have time on the plane, you make weird things. Uh, so let's check out some of those weird things. Uh, they're both bookmarklets. Uh, so this first video is going to be about the hacks bookmarklet. Um, so it's going to actually add it into the documentation. You can see how we would go about doing that in our hacks the web dot uh, org site. So I'm going to look at integrations and see. You know, hey, there's some information about them, and I've got CodePen listed. You know, so maybe we'll um, we'll break this out into two different little areas here. So the first area, I'm going to get rid of these um, kind of more far reaching ones, right? And so then maybe we'll put in a heading that's like bounce it up there. Some that are a little bit more crazy, All right? And so there are these, right? This could be kind of like tech demos almost. So uh, we've got hacks running in a code pen, um, which if I click the link and go there. Another one is hacks uh, bookmark let injecting hacks into any website. Now, this is you know, obviously for demonstrative purposes, but um, it's in our LRN Web Components repo. You can actually see what the code for the bookmarklet is. Um, I'll copy and paste it into this little integrations thing so it's just on the doc site instead of having to you know, stumble around to find this one. So um, we're going to take hacks bookmarklet, we'll create a link over to the bookmarklet directly and then see below for details. Okay. Now the way that you use a bookmarklet is like this, this hacks the web. Uh, you would create a bookmark and then I'd hit edit and I basically paste a whole ton of JavaScript into the URL area. Um, then what ends up happening is when I click the link it effectively just is applying the JavaScript to the site that I'm on. So let's make a uh, code sample because this is a big old just blob of code. We're just going to dump that in there. Um, make a copy to clipboard button on that. Yahoo paste. All right, it's going to look like that. Uh, bookmark. To use the ax the web bookmarklet. Copy the below code into a bookmark. All right, so I've already done that, um, and that will save. So we've, you know, we've got our page, and we can, we've updated the documentation. And then I could, you know, theoretically just hit this copy button, and I've got a ridiculous amount of code in this little line. Um, but it's been smushed into a single JavaScript call. So let's see what happens uh, when we do that. So if we went to uh, WordPress.com, it's a bad example. Let's go to WordPress.org, right? So if I went to WordPress.org, and I hit the hacks the web button. It's not going to do anything at first. First, you'll just see this. It'll start kind of giving this very aggressive selector of what you're highlighting. And so whatever you end up selecting is where hacks the web will wrap and, and be applied. Um, so let's say I wanted to start manipulating this extend WordPress with over 5400. I would click and then you see it actually uh, the edit button just went up at the top. Now this was very fast because like I've done this before on other websites. Um, what we're doing is it's piping it in over CDN. And so it comes in off the CDN and if your browser has been to that you know, address before, you've already got those assets cached. So now anywhere that you use Hacks the Web, it's gonna load ridiculously fast. Now, just for the purposes of demonstration, we've also funneled into that string a huge uh, App Store spec. And the App Store is what provides uh, all these different things under Find, some of the more advanced integrations that you need API keys for. Um, I just throw my API keys for these in here. They don't have write access, they're just read only, and they're just for these demonstrative purposes. Like internally, we would use different keys, so in case you would have any concerns there. Uh, it's basically just bridging you know, things like YouTube. So if I wanted to put a YouTube video on uh, the WordPress website, about, well, it wouldn't be about Ohm's Zelen, it'd be about Hack CMS, would say. And so we would put in there, like, what is the rea what is reality? Which is the, the video I, I shot a few days ago, it was silent, just typing. And so uh, let's make that dark theme. I could do 
blue accents right, to things or perhaps yellow accents to things. There we go, that's nice looking. And so what is reality? And so it would be like hacks, CMS, what is reality? I should probably make it just pipe that in from YouTube, but anyway, so let's update. And now we've got hack CMS, what is reality in this same block? Let's move it above uh, their original paragraph. And so I've got um, hack CMS, or sorry, hacks <laughs> running on WordPress.org, sort of, right? I mean, it's not gonna have any connotation of saving. Uh, what is fun though, is I can inject this anywhere. And if I'm injecting it around a wrapper of content, I can then view source, right? So you can actually see, hey, this is where um, this was injected into this WordPress block. Um, I could go from there and, you know, copy and paste this and edit it like normal HTML, because this is a little VS code instance, update body. And now we've got a whole ton of those. Um, Oh, this is a nice full width uh, banner thing. Let's see how our full width banner looks. I don't know if I actually have it in here. Um, no, I don't think I'm shipping that with this app store spec. No, okay. Um, so that's that's generally the idea, right? So um, I think, you know, beyond like this being like a silly fun way to just manipulate websites, um, it does serve a practical purpose, which could be, you know, if you got into uh, a demo of, of a platform, for example, say, you know, we'll go from wordpress.org to .com. Um, I was logged in. So this is a blog I ran there a long time ago now. Um, and I wanted to say like, okay, let's say this is uh, our company's content management system of some kind. What would this look like if we hacked it, right? That I could just click and then pull hacks into um, that, you know, area that I would be doing editing and then just start writing um, this way instead. Now, you know, it's not perfect, obviously, when, when injecting into some other website. You see, I just wiped that area in order to put this here. But it could provide a really powerful, you know, conversation starter to say, like, well, what is our traditional editing experience? And what would it be like if we did it this way? Right? So, like, I just took that, and I, I need to you know, tell it not to style with that, um, that inset like that. But, you know, what would it be like if we were to edit in this manner? And just be able to type through. I got some weird CSS going on that thing. <laughs> um, it's a powerful conversation piece. So um, you can check that out now. I'm going to publish the uh, the docs to have that um, and get a feel for hacks the web. But kind of you know visually, how would this work in our context? Whatever you know, replace your company with our 